Johnson. Baseball picked up by Brooks. Back to Johnson. He'll try a three. Got it. And for Johnson, that's another three. He's got 24. He has five three-pointers in this game. And he's shooting from distance. I, I'm sure he's tired. Amazing second half here by Johnson. Really, he's kept his team in the game. And you can see how far away from the three he is. He's a good three feet. He's got great range, tremendous confidence. Will Wade is trying to get his team to play good basketball here over the last five minutes. VCU is not out of this game by a long shot. If they can set up this press and force a couple turnovers, I mean, I've seen them close this gap many times. Under the four minute mark remaining in the game. Brooks off the glass and good. Doug Brooks, five points off the bench. You that are here is gonna give strong consideration to Isaiah Miles. Five point ball game now as Doug Brooks hits a three to you to get back in with a couple of long balls. Moali Cox, good hook shot. Four-point game. That was my Johnson the rebound, BCU. Ahead to Ali Cox. And he will score and a chance to tie from the line. A foul on Demery. An amazing turnaround here from BCU. They've certainly kept their head in the game here. Nice pass to advance the ball to Allie Cox, and he's just so strong when he gets the ball in the low post. On Lewis. Here is Mo Allie Cox to give VCU the lead. Great ball screen, a pick and roll. No one's going to stop Mo Allie Cox when he's going to the basket. Game is tied at 78. Bill Martelli. Wants a timeout to talk this one over. Both teams in the uh, bonus with St. Joseph's in the double bonus in a minute 24 to go in a tie game. With five minutes to go in the game, it looked like St. Joseph's was in complete control this game. But in the last three minutes or so, VCU has really battled back. Yeah, this is the all-important one, making it a two-possession game. A lot of poise here in the last five minutes by VCU. 81% free throw shooters, percentage just went up. Four point VCU lead. Three point lead, still a one possession game. Papa now coming back in for St. Joseph. Aaron Brown will have a seat. Again, another opportunity for Johnson. He missed it, so a three would tie it. Bembry lets one go from long range and missed. DeAndre Bembry came up just short of tying this game, and VCU comes into Philadelphia and takes away an A-10 victory over the St. Joseph's Hawks. I'll give VCU a lot of credit. They hung in there in the last five minutes. They played with a lot of poise. Melvin Johnson led the way with 24. Final score, VCU 85, St. Joseph's 82.